Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna be showing you how to do a super easy ombre eyebrow look today, which is going to be absolutely perfect with the new trend that we're moving into on the more natural brows, which I am so excited about. But before we get started, make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and make sure you've hit that little bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload new content. All right, so I'm gonna be starting out with Unique's Brow Liner. This is in the color medium. This has a really tiny like little precision tip on there. This is gonna be perfect for getting in these like inner parts of the eyebrow where things are a lot thinner, where we wanna keep it the lightest and where we need to kind of maybe draw in some of the hairs that we are now missing as you know, our eyebrows thin as we age. So this is gonna be a really good tool to get us started. So I'm just gonna start by adding in just a few little lines here, right towards the front, nice and light, right? This is just kind of filling in where we're missing things, getting things started. This is where we wanna have the absolute lightest touch. And then I'm only gonna bring this, I would say it's less than half of my eyebrow. So we're gonna say about a third of the way back I did pick up a little bit of the pressure a little bit further back as I moved here just to get it a little bit darker and we can always go back and fine tune. Okay, so next I'm gonna go in with the Sculpting Style Brow Pencil and this has like a wax tip on the top here, a little bit thicker, it's gonna give us a little more pigmentation. And what I wanna do is I wanna start just before where I left off with the first eyebrow liner so that it kind of overlaps a little bit, okay? And I'm gonna start with a very light touch here. And again, I'm overlapping slightly where we left off. And then as I work my way through the rest of my brow, that's where I'm gonna start to increase the pressure slightly so that the darkest pigmentation ends up on the outside of my eyebrow. Okay, so then I wanna go back in with a spoolie. The original brow liner that I use has a built-in spoolie on the other side, but any spoolie will do. And you're just gonna kind of pull this through and that's gonna help kind of blend out the colors, smooth the transition from one to the other as well, and get your eyebrow hairs kind of in the place that you want them. And then I am actually going to use Pink Lily's Brow Gel. This is like my favorite brow gel right now. It's skincare infused, which I love. It gives a really good hold as well without being like crunchy or crusty and it doesn't leave any like little white flakes or streaks in my eyebrows, which I have experienced with some eyebrow gels before, so we don't want that. So I'm just gonna use this to run through my brow and set everything in place. And there you go. You see how that's like perfectly ombre? It's not too dark through here. We still have a nice natural flow going. This is gonna make your eyebrows look like they were effortless, that you kind of woke up this way. Doesn't look like you drew them on. And this is so what's gonna be trending and through 2023 and moving forward is a little bit more of a natural brow, which I am so happy about. I am not a structured brow girl. So this is a good way to kind of get that natural look, but still fill in everything and give it a little bit of a refineness. Okay, so I'm just gonna repeat the process on the other side now. Okay, so definitely something I wanna point out here. You don't have to use either one of these brow products that I use. You can use any two brow pencils that you like. Um, as long as one is a little bit darker than the other. One doesn't necessarily have to be thinner or thicker, two different products, nothing like that. That is just the ones that I currently own and what I've been practicing my ombre with, but you can use any of the ones that you love personally. Like I said, all you really need is one that's a little bit darker than the other. And again, you don't need a brow gel. This is just a good way to set your brows in place, kind of keep them looking perfect all day long. But again, you could skip this step as well and still get your perfectly ombre eyebrows. Thank you for joining today. You guys get out there, find your joy, and keep smiling.